At a recent Zoom staff meeting, we were lamenting over how much we missed the actual physical space of St. Rose in the Spirituality Center. If you do too, maybe this will help, as we wanted to bring the rooms to each of you and share the many blessings they offer. We also invite you to think about each room and memories you hold of each space and to offer them up in gratitude. Our front office is the space where we welcome guests and offer hospitality in the form of a friendly greeting. May the hospitality you have received at our front desk pass through you to all those you encounter. Emmaus is the town where two people and an unknown companion journeyed after Jesus' death. It is only after they break bread together when it is revealed that the unknown companion is the resurrected Jesus. In this room, many forms of breaking bread together occur, from actual meals to creative expression, yoga, support circles, and training on how to become a spiritual director. May Jesus be revealed to you wherever you are right now, and may your heart burn with the belief that Jesus goes with you along every step you take today. Our Sophia bookstore is more than a bookstore. It is a gathering place, a quiet workspace, a place to reflect. It is the place where many of our staff gather for lunch each day and where camaraderie, laughter, and friendships form. Sophia means wisdom, and so much wisdom is both shared and gained within this space. May the spirit of friendship and support sustain you today, and may wisdom accompany you. San Damiano is in Italy and is where St. Clair formed her community. San Damiano and St. Clair are at the heart of the FSPA ministry and mission. This room that we call San Damiano is also where a lot of heart work happens. From our monthly singing bowl sessions to grief support groups to iconography retreats. May you find those things that make your heart sing and be strengthened by them. Grace is the room where we share our women's Christmas meal, where sip and paints and other fellowship programs are offered. So much laughter and joy and a sense of community are contained within these walls. Our prayer for you is that you experience abundant laughter and joy and a sense of God's grace to hold you until we are able to meet again. On his deathbed, St. Francis said to his brothers, I have done what was mine to do. May Christ now teach you what you are to do. In these times of uncertainty and fear, of political and racial unrest, may the words of St. Francis and the blessings you have received from each room give you strength, courage, and insight into what is now yours to do. Amen.